Hey guys, this is just a very simple video of me showing you my team. Nothing special. I know that all the YouTubers have better teams than me, but I think this is actually interesting because how do you build a pretty good team if you don't have 20 million coins? Let's get into it. As you can see, I have a Legends 40 out of 40 theme team. I'm going to show you how I built it. So first of all, the first thing you always have to think about when building a team, what scheme are you running? And depending on that, you need players with specific abilities. Abilities are expensive. They cost AP points, but there are certain players that give you discounted ability points. So what you go is you go to mutt.gg and you search for players, you search for an ability, and then you can select AP discount or you can select how much the ability should cost. And then you see all the players that get that ability. You can then also look to filter by the Legends team team. Then you find every single player that gets the ability discounted with the theme team. You can also search for any other theme team if that's more your style. The Legends 40 out of 40 theme team gives you plus one speed. If you have a regular team like the Seahawks, for example, and you have 50 out of 50 on that, you get plus two speed. I chose the Legends because I feel like at this point the plus two speed is not as important, but, but you get the better players like Herman Moore is a great receiver burst. Same with him. Then Keith Byers is, in my opinion, the second best running back in the game behind Quadfather. But that is just why I chose to build a Legends theme team. Once you know what scheme you're running and the abilities you want, you need to figure out which positions you don't want a Legend player at. For example, this Tom Brady, he's a great quarterback. He gets Gunslinger for 0 AP and Hot Rod Master for 2. That is insanely cheap. Like, really cheap. So he is, in my opinion, a must on your team. He, uh, team he costs like 400k, which is not too crazy. So I definitely recommend you get him if you can't afford him. Uh, so that's someone who I don't want, who I don't need the legend at. So this is a guy I definitely need. And then I have to think about, okay, which other positions do I not want to have a legends play at, but still, uh, but I have to like make a team that still allows me to get the 40 out of 40 legends players that I need. There are some specific positions that you just don't need, like right outside linebacker. This left outside linebacker I only have because he comes with the season's pass. I would never, unless there is like a specifically good pass pressure, I, I, you don't need depth on those. Like, there you go. You, I have 80 players at that spot, but they get the Legends theme team. And that also counts, of course, towards the total of Legends players that I have. I recommend getting power-ups in those positions. Uh, because you power them up and then you, you basically pay 3k for the card and then five training points for the upgrade and then you get the legends chemistry so that is a budget tip that i have for you if you don't uh, have all the money in the world to spend i just accidentally backed out so that is how you can kind of save or get some extra players that will give you an advantage if you are using a theme team like a regular team like a seahawks theme team there are certain cards that get multiple team chemistries like they count two times for that team team especially like an idea for that would be like the team diamonds team diamonds they get two times the team chemistry that they're on and this kind of allows you some more flexibility because now you have some uh, some options open where you can put some extra players that don't have to be on that team uh in your lineup then that is the third biggest uh, the third big tip and the last big tip is this team strategy if you get the highest team strategy tier you can get this in purple and then that that is where it really gets going so that is where you can get the multiple team chemistry so for example that right there would be two times cowboys if that's in the blue if that's the rare thing then that would be times three and all the way up to times four so that is where you can get make some extra room for yourself that is how you can build the theme team. I recommend going over to mutt.gg. They have a theme teams page and then looking for which players you want and which ones you don't. This will also help you build your theme team. Now let's talk about the team that I have. I've got Tom Brady on as quarterback, as I already said. Let's have a look at him real quick. He gets Gunsling. I have Escape Artist on him. Haven't really used that that much, so I might change it to something else, but you'll never know. Gunslinger and Hot Rod Master and set feed lead that's all i need for my quarterback because no one is using under pressures anymore i can hear an argument for why you want fearless at, the, at your quarterback which i sometimes switch on if i get particularly triggered from one game where i just get under pressures over and over again but as a general rule of thumb that is how, you, how i go with that then keith byers he's got fright train and that is goal line back which if i look at it for zero ap Stronger run blocking within five yards of the end zone. 
this chest allows me to like really if i'm in there i'm in there you know what i mean <laughs> that's not a kind of but you know you get better run blocking which gives you easier rushing touchdowns down there then travis eats uh, not travis is it travis it is travis Etienne jr uh energizer zero ap as many zero ap things as you can uh get is what i recommend and then herman moore he's got short in elite if we can go to it for one ap mid out elite for zero ap and then short out elite for two ap what short out elite does allows you to do is when you get pressed and you have some like a streak it's a free touchdown they just win you can look at one of my previous videos where i explained in the henry video how that works have fun with it. It's a good tip. I definitely recommend you try it out. Short out elite and short in elite on CD Lamb. If you guys don't know what short in elite does, it basically gives perfect uh, cuts on every on any single route that is inside the hash marks. Is it inside the hash mark? Inside the numbers. My bad. Inside the numbers, and sh from zero to ten yards to the uh, line of scrimmage, and that just allows you to get the perfect cut. It's pretty good. It's good man coverage building ability then jeff saturday he's got one ap secure protector edge thread edge thread on the odds on the tackles and post up on jay hilgenberg for zero ap he also comes with the uh with the season pass great card can definitely re can't recommend it highly enough julius peppers he's not let's talk about my defense you know that i run the cover three invert you guys great defense i've got two safeties in outside thirds which is why i want uh where do i have him I got Champ Bailey and Deion Sanders. They both have pick artist and deep out zone KO, which is the zone ability or the zone knockout ability that I need for that to work as best as can. Whenever I have someone who gets pick artist for zero AP, that's great. Pick artist on as many players as I can. I got Adrian Wilson with secure tackler, just so if I play quad father, I have someone that can make the tackle. Ted Hendricks has got pick artist. Steve Atwater has flat zone KO and pick artist. Then Charles Woodson has flat zone KO and pick artist. I got El Toro on Reggie White. Inside stuff on Tony Siragusa. Edge threat and speedster on Cameron. Excuse me, on Cameron Wake. Natural Lane gets pick artist plus zero AP. And goal line stuff on Tremaine Edmonds down near the goal line. And Lurker on Willie Lanier. And then Carl Banks gets no outsiders for zero AP and edge threat for one AP, which is just crazy to me. I got two one AP edge threats. If my opponent doesn't have edge protector, then he's in for a rough ride. It's gonna not be not too easy for him. I got in out of Unitary with uh, folk and I, like Zen. What is it? Let's look at what the name of the ability actually, is so I don't mess you guys up. Precision kicker and Zen kicker. Nice. Two great abilities. Can't recommend them highly enough. And Ray Guy. Notice both of them also have the Legends cam. So, Specialist, this is where you can hide some extra players that don't count towards your theme team. So, let's just say that I need an extra cornerback that maybe is not on the Legends theme team, but it's just so good. But I don't want to waste a spot in the OG team, in the original team, where it actually counts towards the theme team. Then I can put him in right here, and he doesn't waste a spot, but he's still going to be in the lineup if I want to use him in a game. Strategy, as we already talked about, Jets offense, Chiefs defense, but I mix that around quite a bit. And I got specific uniforms if you want to do me if you want me to do a video on the uniform trick where you can get custom uniforms in Ultimate Team. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's kind of a speed run uh, through my team. My bad, I forgot to show the tight ends. Short and elite on Taysom Hill and short and elite on Rob Gronkowski. Can't wait to get the 98 overall. Raw, but that's gonna take a while anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video very short video i did not want to make this too long this is just a speed walkthrough to how i build my team i can recommend this highly enough like if you learn a little bit of these tricks then it's a lot easier i see so many people with terrible teams where i just know right off the bat that i'm gonna win that game because my opponent's abilities are just trash simple as that hope you guys enjoyed till next time peace <laughs>